What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over a little day trading recap. Check it out. All right, guys, so let's jump into this. Today, what I have here for you is some futures trade. I traded futures yesterday evening on Sunday. Uh, I traded again at night and I traded again this morning. So I have, I don't know, three or four trades to go over with you here. So we're going to jump on those. And they are both on the MES, micro e-minis, and on the ES, the regular contracts. Okay, so the difference is the micros... Uh, each point move up or down equals five dollars per contract on the regular es each point move up or down equals fifty dollars so there is a huge you know difference between both uh, uh both contracts regarding the risk to reward potential factors on it okay now i'll trade either one uh just depending usually how much uh risk i have potentially on the setup itself oh, this thing is still running let me pause this um okay so yesterday the futures opened and we had a gap down that's what happened we had a gap down and uh, we had a gap down just underneath a a key level all right just underneath a key level in like the nine uh 2992 area okay and uh i thought we might get a little bit further downside out of that so right out of the gates i just jumped in short okay using that level and also watching as i always do the time and sales okay watching the time and sales right here you see it okay this is the time and sales always watching that and uh really really tight stop on this really really tight stop on this with no bias in essence because right after this i flip long and you know uh, make a nice little trade there okay now before we move any further on this let me know if you want to see more of these futures trade, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, I, I trade, you know, you, you guys watch my channel. I trade options. I trade small caps. I trade large caps. I trade futures. Uh, but I can't trade it all every single day. And generally, I don't trade futures every single day uh, just because I've been trading options a lot more lately. Uh, but I do flip back and forward just depending where basically where i'm where i'm trading the best you know if i see that i'm slowing down on options you know I'll switch over to futures and uh i'll trade futures if i'm if i'm hot on futures i'll continue trading futures for an extended period of time uh so let me know if you want to see more futures content and i'll you know gladly work on that as well okay i do have a new video i'm going to be working on on the street smart edge platform i just dropped one on sunday i'm working on another one just basically on the ins and outs of that platform and things you uh, you know, you would want to find on YouTube, which when I switched over to uh, Street Smart Edge with Schwab, I tried to look up information on YouTube so that I would have like a little bit of a learning curve and and not have to just break my head so much working on the platform to customize it to my liking. But there wasn't a whole lot on it on YouTube, uh, as well as whatever was out there was really boring and really long. So, you know, I'm going to be working on a little series here, just like I did for, for E-Trade and uh, put up some information on those. Let me know if you want me to do plenty of those videos and I will. OK, so now let's jump on this. Smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now, like I said, this is a really tight stop. OK, on this trade, it's a 12 minute trade. These are 1000 tick candles. So each candle represents a thousand transactions. And basically, I'm just looking, you know, we have like a little bear flag formation forming underneath this 29-22 area, like I said. But I, th I said to myself, if we look like we're going to break this 29-20, I'm going to get out of the way for a simple, a simple reason. Okay, it's a very simple reason. If we're going to break this 29-20, I feel we might rally it. Okay, and if we don't. I could just jump right back into it with a real tight stop again. So I have a real tight stop here, a real tight stop here. So either way, you know, if if this if this area is going to hold, I could just jump right back into it. Okay, and I mean hold this resistance. We'll fast forward here a little bit because this is a twelve minute trade. I have five contracts, so at this point, each one point move so from 2917 to 2916 that would be twenty dollars so each one point move is going to be twenty dollars okay there it looks like we're going to break you know we got a lot of red that came through on the time of sales look at all that red we're down here at the low but it holds check it out watch it holds Every time we get up there, look at, I want you to notice that. Every time we get up here to this zone, watch. Watch the red come up on the time of sales. 
watch. It's coming. Just going to take a little bit because it's, you know, it's not a huge amount of transactions going on. It's Sunday. Watch. See? It won't break through that 2918. So look, see all that red that keeps coming through? See all that red? Look at that. Look at all that red. So you would think, all right, boom, we're going to fail here. We're going to break down uh, underneath the low of the current low of day here. And, you know, we can get a flush. I was thinking we were going to test that 2900 area. So my uh, plan was to take off three contracts at 2910 area, 2911, 2910. Okay. I'm in from 2917. That's seven points. Okay. So that's really good profit right there. That's over 100 bucks already. Uh, with this real small risk here, I was giving up like two points, like 30 bucks. Okay, and I was going to hold on to two contracts looking for that flush to the 2900 area. I would have taken off one as we went down there and then probably taken off the other one there because I expected 2900 to hold the support and bounce. As a matter of fact, you see down here where my mouse cursor is, this is the 2900 area. Look at that bounce from 2900 area right here. That's 2904, 2903, all the way to 2933. Okay, so that shows you that that area is pretty strong support. But we don't break down. Look, see, we don't break down. And look at all that green that came through. So I closed it out right there. I lost, I want to say, 33 bucks, 32 bucks, something like that. It's nothing. Now, let's find the next trade. This is pretty scattered between all. Is this the next trade? Yes, okay. So as you see, we rally it right back up. Now we've broken the 29.22 area. And we've held it. And I saw a bunch of volume come through that area. So I said, you know what? I'm willing to take up to six contracts on this. So I'm going to take up, I'm going to take a starter here and 29.20 is my support zone. Right there, I add uh, another two and look at that. Look at that. Did you see that? This is actually a pretty quick trade. I set out a profit target there to get rid of three at 29.29 from 29.22, okay? Now here, uh, I was giving up like two points or another 30 bucks or so for the shot at making, you know, seven to 15 points, okay? Uh, I was looking to take off the rest up here at this 29.30 area from 29.22, not bad. Uh, take off some there, actually, yeah, 29.29, take off some there and then hold on the rest for the break over 29.33. That was the plan with my target about 29.45. Now, uh, what you don't see here is that I'm looking off camera and I don't have that chart. There was a gap fill, okay? This, there was a gap fill here. Well, obviously we gapped down, so there was a gap fill. And I was thinking, okay, if we don't break that gap, then we might fail it there. So I'm gonna get flat if we don't break the gap, if we don't break through the gap. Watch. We get up there. Wait, wait, right there. We, we start to get up there. That's the gap fill area. Okay. We get up there and we test just, we test just there. Like I'm talking about a couple points underneath the gap fill. Look what happens. Look at all the red start to come through. Watch. Look at that. You see? You see? See all the reds start coming through. More red, more red, more red. Look at all that red. Red, 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 red. And look at that action. Big wick, tons of red on the time of sale that came through in that zone. And you know how quickly we can get one of these dump candles in futures trading. Just is what it is. So I take it off here pretty soon. Right there, I take it off. Okay. And uh, see, it comes all the way back down. And right there, I made back... Uh, my loss plus some profit. So I was up like 23 bucks. Okay. I was up like 23 bucks. Uh, and that was it there, right? Okay. So now the next trade is actually yesterday as well. That's not it. That's not it. Is it this one? Okay. Here it is. So the next trade is on the ES contract. On the ES contract, okay. So this is uh, we're in at twenty nine forty. I have about a point to a point and a half risk on this, so I decided to take the ES uh, because it was just so tight of a risk. 
and uh, I could see that if we broke this 29.42 area, we had a good shot at making you know a quick little push to like 29.45, maybe 29.50. That would have been a monster. <coughs> Uh, so I decided to take one ES because the risk was so low. I take one ES here. This is yesterday, right before uh, I called it a night. It was like a nine something, ten o'clock. I want to say I don't, I don't know if that shows the time there. This is the date. Whatever. The point is that it was kind of late at night already. So I'm thinking that we're gonna break this 29:42 area. So I'm watching the time in sales, and I'm also watching. Uh, the the dome on the side and i'm seeing all the contracts getting put up in this front of this 2942 and they just kept getting chewed out and chewed out and chewed out and i'm like you know what if this thing breaks through here we can see a quick pop and this could be an easy easy no-brainer trade okay so this is about a seven minute trade so we'll fast forward just a tad here so we can get through this As you can see, the trading has slowed down a lot. There, look at all that green every time we pop up there. Look at that. And now we see the red coming in right there in front of 29.42. But it's not it's not afraid. It's not shying away from it. There we go. There we got the big pop right there, right through it, and it goes straight to 29.44. I'm in from 29.40.50. So that's already almost five, uh, four points. Okay, that's about 200 bucks. And now... I, what I'm doing here now is mentally, I have a trailing stop. I've put my stop at 29.42. I want to see 29.42 hold now because it was major resistance, at least temporarily there. And now I want to see this 29.44 break. We break 29.44. So now I want to see 29.43 hold. It's like just a mental trailing stop is what I'm doing here. And I want to see a quick pop because now we've squeezed. So now I want to see a, an extension move really quickly. Like it's just like this. Look right here. See this 29.28? Boom. We break over it. 29.31. Boom. Again, 29.35. Monster move. That's what I want to see here. We're already up almost 200 bucks on these. We tap 29.45. I think I might have had an order out, but I'm not sure, at 29.45.50. And there I close it out. Right there I close it out. Boom. I just click I just click flatten. So I just flatten the position, close it out right there. Uh, no sense in fiddling around with the, with the uh, other montage. I could have clicked out here and put the order on the ask or something, but I just flatten it right there. And uh, that right there put me up $198 in the evening. And then we have today thing today is it this one nope this one yes so then today we bounce off of this 2900 area that i mentioned earlier and i'm just looking for a quick move right through 2910 if we can get through 2910 i think that we have a shot at 2920 okay i only have three mes's okay very small risk here and i'm looking for that move to 2920 we'll fast forward this one even though it's just a four minute trade. Same process, but we need to break 29.10. See this over here, you see 29.10 holding up. We need to break 29.10. 29.10 isn't breaking. And now I wanna see 29.07 really, really hold. It doesn't really hold right there. So I just exited right there and made like another 30 bucks. Puts me up on the session like about over 230 something dollars. So I'm really happy with that. Of course, uh, you know, 200 bucks a day is a thousand dollars a week. That's $52,000 a year. So I don't know why anybody would, you know, nod their head or like lift their nose or whatever you want to call it, put their nose in the air to 200 bucks. That's uh, over $200 in that, in that, you know, session between last night and this morning. And uh, that's it for me today, guys. Let me know how you did. If you enjoyed the content, remember to subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section below. Again, let me know what you did. Smash the like button for me, and I hope to catch you on the next one.